Hi guys! So today I'm going to be trying out a recipe for a basil pesto that you can just make at home and then freeze for I think up to three months or so. So I thought that would be a really great idea. My mom actually has been doing this for a while and um, I've always wanted to try it, you know, and have some pesto on hand whenever I need it. So I thought I would give it a go. So I found a recipe on Pinterest and I'm going to try it out today. For this recipe, you will need basil, which I just got at the store, but of course, if you grow it yourself, that's even better. You will need garlic, olive oil, some pine nuts, some grated Parmesan cheese, a lemon, and salt and pepper. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is toast the pine nuts. So I have about a quarter of a cup right here, and I just spread them in a single layer on this baking sheet. And I'm just going to put them in a 350 degree oven for about six or seven minutes until they're kind of turning brown. Meanwhile, I have measured out two cups of the basil. And what I'm going to do now is zest and juice one lemon. This is what the pie nuts will look like once they have been toasted. Okay, in the food processor, we're going to put our two cups of basil. Half a cup of Parmesan cheese. One to two cloves of garlic, so I'm just using minced garlic. The zest of half a lemon. And the juice of half a lemon. The toasted pine nuts. which is um, a quarter of a cup, and some salt and pepper. All right, and we're just going to pulse this up until it's blended. So this is what this mixture is looking like at this point. So next we're going to add half a cup of olive oil little by little and just um, kind of pulse it up in between. All right, so I have here half a cup of olive oil and I'm just going to add it little by little. is what the completed pesto is looking like and what I'm going to do now is just um, scoop it into an ice tray and I'm going to freeze up the different sections and I'll just have a serving of pesto ready to go anytime I need it. So here are all my um, servings of pesto, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop this in the freezer for a couple of hours. So after the pesto has um, frozen for at least a couple of hours and you know it's frozen solid, you can just take the little cubes out of the ice cube tray 
and put them in a separate Ziploc freezer bag and you can just keep them in there for I think up to three months or so and um, just use them whenever you need it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.